Okay, everybody. Look what we got in the mail. It's a Bella 32 inch pizza oven. Every Christmas Eve, we do a big pizza party. All the kids, boyfriends, girlfriends, friends of the family, nieces, great nieces, uh, grandbabies. They all come over Christmas Eve. That's our big thing. We do a, a pizza party. So we do homemade pizzas. We used to use, uh, the last two years, we've used little electric ones that um, you plug in inside the house and you can do a pizza about the size of a paper plate, but you got to make the, the crust super thin and put holes in it with the little um, hole roller or spike roller so the dough don't rise. And it kind of makes a flat pizza, which everybody, you know, well, I do. I love thick pizza crust. So last year we was going to order one of these, but it took like six weeks and we waited till the last minute to do it. Well, this year we uh, went ahead and ordered it early and now I got to build a stand for it. Uh, the stand I'm going to build is going to be out of uh, aluminum square tubing and plate. I'm not sure if I'm going to put these ears on the sides here. I probably won't. So basically this is the size of the pizza oven. It's um, 38 and a quarter wide or yeah wide and it's 31 and a half deep. So I'm adding extra 16 inches on each side to where you can set stuff on the sides and in the front i'm going to build a, a front piece coming off 12 inches and uh the, the width of it so basically you'll have a shelf that comes out here 12 more inches and that'll be part of the table too so you know that way whenever if you wanted to stoke the fire up or something or have something sitting up up here whatever you know so but uh yeah so stick around for the video uh I, i'm gonna get some uh square tubing down off the rack and get it all set up and get it cut to start building this top piece. And I think I'm gonna go ahead and make it this tall, which is like 43 inches. And, and the only reason why is because it seems like for me, I'm six foot one. So it's a good height for me to look in there without having to bend down, squat down and all that stuff. So yeah, I'm gonna go 43 inches high. And then it's gonna be, like I said, the width 16 inches, 16 inches, 12 inches. And then, uh, and then, you know, just do four legs. I'll probably make a shelf at the bottom. Um, I might close in the sides all the way around to where it's like a square box because I might come back later if I decide to and, and put Hardy Baker on there and then put like a brick, like, um, I don't know, like backsplash, I guess, but for outside, it's like half brick to where you can, you can, uh, do it like backsplash around it anyways decorative it up a little bit or i might just powder coat the the whole table frame i'm not sure i'm not real sure how i'm going to do it but i'm going to make it to where it definitely can be moved you know if we need to move it and stuff like that i don't want it to get too too heavy so all right well let me get some uh, aluminum out and uh get it cut and then i'll get back with you and show you when i get it laid out on the table Okay, so I got the top cut out. It's gonna have a brace there, and it's gonna have a brace basically right here, and right there, and then out on the ends. So, and then I'm gonna take a 3 16 aluminum plate and put it on the top, and then weld that down. So, that's kinda, kinda my idea. I got the legs cut out. I need to finish cleaning those up. So we're gonna get this tacked up and squared up and then we'll uh, uh, move on to something else. So. Needed a drink. Okay, I'm gonna put you up here so you can uh, kind of see what's going on.
for those that don't know i use a miller dynasty 300 um, i really like this machine it's a good machine um, it ain't a cheap machine and when something goes wrong with it it ain't cheap to get fixed so just keep that in mind if you ever ever get one like that but it, it's a it's a nice machine so i got a liquid bottle of argon my son and his friends have been practicing heliarc or tig welding so i ordered that for them so they quit going through all my little cylinders so so while they're not here i'm going to use their stuff so okay let me get you set back up here Okay, now we're going to check it for square. Let's see if I can do this one handed. So you go corner to corner. That has, that has a little burr on it. It'll be alright. We ain't building a Rolex, we're building a Timex. So we're right at 77. Seventy-seven. 
And that's good enough. That's good enough for the woman I'm married to, and that's for her anyway, so. Well, it's for us, but. All right, we'll put you back up here. Okay, so we got some tacks down there in the corners, like that, we're square. So now I'm gonna put these braces in here and then uh, get everything tacked up good. And then I'll come back to you once I get the braces in there. Okay, I got the center braces in. So what I did is I, I took the measurement from outside here to outside here which is 38 and a quarter. So I found center from this, which is 70 and a quarter, found center. And then I measured 19 and an eighth, 19 and an eighth. And that puts the edges right there. You know, the same width as your, as your pizza oven. So now I'm gonna get this welded out then I'll get the piece cut for the top. And then, uh, and then we'll put the legs on it, put some bracing on the legs and stuff like that. And then uh, I think I'm gonna go ahead, instead of putting a bunch of bracing, like corner braces, I'm gonna use the plate. So I'm gonna go ahead and put plate on the sides and the back. And the front I'll probably leave open to put stuff in there and put a shelf down there at the bottom. So yeah, I think that's what I'm gonna do. And then when I make the plate come over here, what I'll do is I'll, I'll cut a piece to, to weld on here to cover up this end but I'll probably come down about six inches and then I'll cut a piece going this way to the leg so it'll be a little like diamond piece like wings on each side like a gusset but it'll be solid you know it'll it'll weld up here you know and then and then it'll it'll come down six inches and then it'll go to there and then I'll weld it to, to the to the leg there so I, I think that'll make it pretty strong on the top because I plan on putting some stuff up there, you know, like, I don't know what, but if we ever do. So, and then plus it'll dress up the front because on this front, the pizza oven sets kind of high. So this lip right here, so say this is the top of it. So I'm gonna have this lip here. So I'm gonna have to, when I set it down, I'm gonna have to build something that goes from here out, but that height and squared in the front and then a piece on the top so that way i got my little shelf in the front right here and i'll have to put some gussets going back down to them legs so i'm going to put the legs right even with that so all my gussets will look pretty pretty good going down so that's kind of the game plan so okay i'll get back with y'all in a minute i'm going to take a break go get me something to drink and then uh I'll probably put the uh, camera back up there so y'all can uh, see me welding a little bit. You know, in the video, I'll fast forward all that. So, you know, the welding goes a little faster. I'll fast forward a lot of this stuff. So, if not, it's gonna be a, 
you know, six hour video and I know nobody wants to sit through all that. So I'll get back with y'all in a minute. Okay, as you can see, I welded out tops and bottoms all the way around. And um, I'll show you all my welds, but don't, 
don't criticize, man. I mean, you know, I'm building a, a Timex, not a Rolex. So we're not going for, for like super looks anyways. This is going to be upside down. The reason why I didn't weld this side is because the plate's going to go on there. I'd have to grind it down anyway. So, so there's no sense in putting all them welds there because, you know, the plate's going to be there. So anyways, so, oh yeah, so there's, there's a little bit of overhead. And I mean, you know, it's just, you know, I'm just throwing it in there. I'm not, I'm not, uh, you know, it is what it is. So, all right, well, let me um, get my plate set up and get it measured out. And then uh, I'll video cutting the plate for the, the top part. And then we'll go ahead and get that on there. And then once we get that on there, then we'll, uh, We'll probably put the legs on and then we'll have to put some bracing at the bottom of the legs and then cut some more plate. You know, you know the routine. So, all right, I'll get back with y'all in a little bit. Okay, I'm going to have to wait till my son gets home to help me get this plate up in the jack. So I'm going to go ahead and put the legs on. I had to go ahead and grind the weld down for the... Uh, legs to go right there i didn't worry about the ends but i had to go ahead and grind those down so i'm gonna stick you up here so y'all can watch me fit those up
Okay, let me show y'all a little trick here. When you go to, to put legs on like this, <clears throat> what I do is I always put a tack in the corner on that side, and then I square it up, and I put a tack on this side. Same across. That way that kind of works as a hinge. If you was to do it over here, opposite corners, before you get it totally squared, it screws you. So, with that being said, so you get this, Make sure it's half-ass tacked, I mean half-ass squared, and then you put a tack on. If it needs to draw one way or the other, put a tack on whatever side. But you don't want to, you don't want to, if it's like leaning like this, you don't want to tack this side. You want to tack this side because that way once you tack it, then you can hinge it over, square it up, another tack. And then you come over here and it acts like a hinge, and then you always put your tack in there. So that's just a little trick. Just, I didn't know if y'all knew that or not. And then when I go to do the bracing up here at the top, you never measure up here at the top, never. You always measure at the bottom where you got it tacked. Because even at the top, as much as I squared that with a two foot square, it, it could still be out. So, so if you take a measurement from here to here, and then you transfer that up here to wherever you want it, and put a tack on there, and then suck that together, then you know it's gonna end up being totally square. So that's just a little trick. I didn't know if anybody knew that, you know, uh, just, just, to, just to let you know. And that works on carbon steel. Uh, stainless is a little bit different because stainless draws really, really bad. Aluminum does too, don't get me wrong. It walks around and, and you know, moves around and all that. But stainless does it really bad. But uh, carbon steel is not that bad. But you still want to put your tacks in the corners. So you got a hinge, you know, and then tack the other side. All right, I'm gonna go ahead and cut the, measure all these braces in here for, for that up there. And then, uh, and get, I'm not gonna weld out the bottom until I get them braces up there. And I probably, I might not even weld it out until I get some, uh, I'll tack it up better. But once I get the plate on there, that way I know for sure, you know, I don't start welding on it and it draws really, really bad. So, okay, I'll be back in a little bit. Okay, I got the braces cut. This is a little trick I do. That way, instead of measuring down or measuring up, you know, and putting a mark and making sure they're all square, what I do is I get a piece of wood or if you got, you know, more square tubing, whatever size you need. And then you just go ahead and cut these two to the same length. And then you just move those all the way around. So when you put this up in here, like so, like that then you know it's pretty dang close all the way around being the same so but that's kind of a little trick that i do and uh you know when you don't have somebody to help you hold it and this that and the other and instead of clamping it and this that and the other you know just something like that just i mean it's just it helps you out a lot so i'm gonna set y'all up here and y'all can watch me tack all this up and then we'll move on
put a little bevel on it so it wouldn't hit the well. Okay, as you can see, it's pretty even all the way around. I mean, I know it's hard to see on camera, but but I mean, that's when you're working by yourself, that's the kind of stuff you need to come up with instead of, you know, you don't have somebody to hold it for you and then pulling the tape measure a bunch of times, putting a bunch of marks. It just makes it a lot easier. All right, I'll get back with you. I'm going to uh, tack that up a little bit more. And then <clears throat> I really need to set this plate up start cutting this plate so huh i'm gonna have to cut some of that plate too i think i'm gonna make this whole back piece one piece of plate and then go ahead and have it to where it you know it already has this six inch lip and coming up so it'll be like one piece and then i think on the front of course it'll be upside the other way up but being that the front of it is is rounded I think I'm gonna match it. I'm gonna make the plate, you know, and it'll be open, but then I'm gonna I'm gonna make it to where it, 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 it has an arc underneath it just to match the top, I think. Okay, I'll get back with you. Okay, <clears throat> we got this much done now. I got it all pretty much welded out. Now it's time to put some skin on it. I gotta put the top on it, put the sides on it. <clears throat> and uh you know i gotta put the six inch plate here and then the front like i said i'm gonna try to make it arch but it's gonna be like come down six inches at an angle and then it's gonna be one try to do one piece instead of a bunch of different pieces and uh so anyways so that's where we're at once i get the plate set up then i'll uh come back and and y'all can see see me laying it out cutting it stuff like that but that's basically the frame right there so it, it's coming along yep i think i'm gonna like it we'll see okay okay i got the back the top the side pieces and the front cut out tacked on but I ran out of plate to do the sides and the bottom. I have uh, I have uh, an eight foot by 20 foot sheet for the airboat, but it's for the sides. I don't wanna, I don't wanna use that up 
because I need the full 20 to go to go for it but I could use it but then I think it's just gonna be cheaper to buy another 5 by 10 sheet to finish this up so but it's coming together like I said I just got it all tacked up to some spots I'm gonna end up welding this all solid and then I'll, I'll put the uh, camera up so y'all can watch it weld a little bit but I want to weld this all up solid and then uh, and then I'll, I'll grind it over so it'll be just like a continuous seam you know it'll look like one piece of plate instead of having it all weld showing like that so I just have to go back through there and I'll grind it down then I'll tiger pawl it you know use a, like an 80 grit then a 120 grit then a 240 grit and just it'll just make it look all you know nice in one piece but how, how do y'all like how i did the front door there i ended up i was going to use my plasma cutter to cut this and what, what i did is i used the door on the that came with the pizza oven so to kind of match it you know so i ended up doing it with the grinder though instead of my plasma cutter so it's not perfect but it, it's kind of got the same look as the pizza oven so it'll kind of all match and it looked pretty good, I think. But, okay, well, I'll get back with you whenever uh, I start doing some welding on it. Okay, as you can see, I got a lot more welding to do. That was like 13 minutes. And I just like weld a little bit here, 
well a little bit there well a little bit there jump around well a little bit well a little bit just walking around it that way i don't put a lot of heat in one place and warp the shit out of it but when i get done <clears throat> i'm going to tiger paw this all down so it'll all look like one piece of plate so it'll, it'll look pretty good then i gotta decide got a good gap i need to fill in over here look at that ain't gonna be no problem ain't nothing for a stepper stepper but uh anyways so then i gotta decide if i want to when i get totally done with it if i want to powder coat it maybe powder coat it black and then the, the oven will be red or do i want to like put that hardy board on there and put tile around it like i was talking about i don't know i think i might just powder coat it take it down and get it powder coated that looked pretty good so all right guys i'll get back with you in a little bit okay the top's all grinded and welded see how i blended it all in the trick to doing this is once you put your weld on there you grind flat grind flat and then you round this is rough i mean I still got to use the tiger paw, the sanding disc on it to smooth it out. But that's what you do. You, 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 you grind here flat, grind here flat, and then you round it. And that makes it look all blends in. So that's the top all welded out, grinded, and everything. So it's coming together. I wish I had the rest of the plate so I could finish this dang thing. You know, you can buy a stand for these for $500 why i do this to myself i have no idea but their stand was just just came up you know it, it didn't have no extra room to set stuff uh you know i don't know i don't know why i do this to myself i guess so i can say yep i made that but anyways all right guys well that's all i'm gonna do for today i've been working on this thing for about four or five hours and uh I'm ready to go in. I'm getting too old for all this. These big projects like this. To me, this is a big project. And uh, I couldn't imagine welding all day long like I used to. 10, 12, 16 hour days, man. Because I tell you what, last two days, I'm sore and wore out. So <clears throat> I'll get back with you whenever uh, uh, I get the... The next thing we're going to do is set the, the uh, oven up on top of here. And then I need to make that little, that little 12 inch shelf in the front. So <clears throat> I got enough plate to do that for sure. So we might try to do that tomorrow, but it's supposed to, the weather's supposed to get real bad. I think we got a storm coming. I'm right here south of Houston. So I don't know how much I'll get done tomorrow. And plus my son and his friends are gonna be in here practicing their uh, heliarching. So I don't want to get in their way or better yet they don't need to get in my way so <clears throat> but anyways all right talk to y'all later bye okay everybody this is it i got the shelf on the front <clears throat> setting up on there i still got to put something in the bottom and on the sides but after talking to the wife last night, I think we're gonna do, I'm gonna see if I can use like liquid nail and, and adhere, you know, like I said, rock or backsplash or something. So it'll, it'll look like rock. And then on the top, we'll probably just do like black tile, you know? So we'll have to do the black tile all the way. So this here lift up the same thickness as what it'll be here. So it'll still be flat across there, so. But that's it man it's uh it's coming along good real good so i like it yep all right well it'll, we're gonna probably use it a little bit and uh play with it before i put the rock on there and stuff like that and uh, plus i gotta order some more aluminum for the side and the bottom so i'm, I'm chomping at the bit to use this thing so all right guys appreciate you watching i know it's kind of a long video i tried to chop it up as much as possible and you know start and stop and show stuff 
if not it just it would just be super super long but maybe i'll put a video out of us cooking on it well thanks for watching talk to y'all later bye bye